Plastic surgery is on the rise every year. Did you know 200,000 teens had plastic surgery procedures last year? 200,000 amid so many stars now admitting to plastic surgery procedures. Cynthia McFadden took a look at how modern medicine has changed the world of celebrity forever. And it is something to see this, Cynthia. It really is, Robin. This special tonight is shows some of the prices that are paid by the stars, both physical and financial. We'll be talking about the types of procedures, the do's and don'ts, and give you the real scoop on who's had what done. But right now I'm gonna show you a Lisa Ling report on the rising trend of teens going under the knife. How young is too young? for breast implants. That's me before my eighth, ninth grade dance. Caitlin Clemens is a beautiful girl, but like many teenage girls, she suffers from insecurities about her appearance. I felt pretty, but I didn't want to draw more attention to what I didn't have. At 18, she says she's been continually tormented for what she considers her physical shortcomings. I've always been the friend with small breasts and I was tired of being teased about it. And so she yearns for what she thinks will be the answer to her problems, a breast augmentation. And how did your parents feel about you wanting to have it? They were understanding about it. Do you think it's worth the, the physical pain of it? Yeah, I do. I mean, we go to the gym, and when we go to the gym, we hurt. We hurt for days, and we still go to the gym. It'll kind of be a funny little joke between all of us, you know, like mother like daughters. Two little baby tucked away incisions right under there. We'll get you a nice pretty cleavage. Caitlin went for a consultation place. with Houston plastic surgeon Franklin Rose, a known entity to the family. He did her mom's breasts too. You'll be surprised in the techniques that we use how little pain there is. Did you look in the mirror this morning? I did. <laughs> I actually did and I was just like, goodbye, old body. <laughs> This one's not next, is she? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> so that's the saline that's getting filled in the implant. After surgery, Caitlin is in excruciating pain, but is hopeful it'll be worth it in the end. Have you ever felt the pain like this? It's pretty bad. Can you describe what the pain feels like? Um, it feels like somebody's been throwing bricks at my breasts. That's what it feels like. Well, Caitlin's older sister also got breast implants, so the surgery is definitely a family affair, Robin. So what's going on here, Cynthia? You know, there are over 10 million plastic surgery procedures last year alone. Uh, and the special tonight, you're also going to see Neil Karlinski talks to Janice Dickerson, the model who's had tons of plastic surgery done. She's proud of it. She says, everything about me is fake, and I am perfect. Also tonight on the special, Nick Watt speaks to Pete Burns. Remember him, the 80s mm -hmm. pop star who was the front man of the British band Dead or Alive? He sees plastic surgery as a form of art. His face clearly ravaged from the disastrous plastic surgery he's had over the years, but he insists he is never going to stop having it. And of course, we're also going to have my conversation with Heidi Montag, the reality star, about her radical transformation. You'll remember Juju talked to her uh, about six months ago. Uh -huh. She now has real regrets. She did 10 in that one day. Yeah, more than that. I know, I know I, I'm like George, I mean, you got to do what makes you happy, I understand that, and everyone, you can't, you don't want to judge, but that, when it's someone so young. Well, that's the that's thing. The it's thing. it's so one young. thing when adults do it, yeah. but when kids are doing it, and you know, it's the culture, nobody's good enough.